Hello, trading is closed on February 22nd, 2021. We always start off with our disclaimer. This is my trading plan for tomorrow, Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. No guarantee I'm right. I could be completely wrong. So trade at your own risk. Please obey the rules of my channel. I know I kind of gloss over these. Nobody wants to hear them every day. I'm still getting people who post on the channel uh, saying how they've made six times their money in three weeks. I'm removing these posts as fast as I can. Don't be, I wouldn't be taken in by these people. I'm still getting people who post their opinions without giving the reasons. I will block you if you do it. My Email address is mejt.trades at gmail.com. Our last call was a pattern with the early low. There it is. Tomorrow has the early high. We'll come back to our prediction in just a minute. Early on, we had an optional target that when we dropped here, we'd overtake this line, which we did. We got a buy signal. We have dropped since the signal. The signal remains alive. The target is 3902.93. That's my call for tomorrow. But as always, if we gap down smartly, the number remains. The time is gone. Well, here's what we said. We said, unless we gapped and promptly overtook Friday's high, if we kill the pattern, we should see lower prices. We had Fibonacci support at 38.91 plus, among other places. Well, we got that number by assuming this was the right count, taking black A, adding it to black B, and that was one target, and that didn't work. In fact, we gapped under it. So the next target, you take 61.8, you set C to 100. Targets right there. So we've hit the target. It's one plausible place for this wave red B to end. This doesn't tell us if we end it here or here, although this looks more plausible. It doesn't even tell us for certain if we've ended at all. But if this is the end, you anticipate a wave red C, usually having a Fibonacci relationship with wave red A. If that's the right count and if they're equal, You get just coming back to this high here, which is around 39.16. It's 40 handles, but in the scheme of things, if it is the end of wave red C, and we don't know that yet, there could be a pretty steep drop if it's hit. This pattern is still valid. It hasn't been invalidated yet finally did something we didn't do for a while as we undercut a prior low at the close. Now this break can still be invalidated. It has to be confirmed by going under today's close by one cent, and that hasn't happened yet. But the more prior lows one undercuts, the more likely that this count, which is a plausible count, is the right count. And if it is the right count, we're going to have a wave blue C similar to this wave blue A. So we're really skating on pretty thin ice here. We have a higher target. There it is, 3902.93. It's a call for tomorrow unless we gap down. We could even trade higher to 
39.16 or even higher than that if it is the normal update. But the chances that we've seen the high of the rally are increasing every day. And every day we don't hit a new high. And every day we do hit a new low. It makes the situation more precarious for the bulls. If that's right, and we don't have absolute confirmation of that yet, March 2021 could be an ugly month just like March 2020. But let's take it a day at a time. It's normally a bullish pattern. It's normally a rally day. Just remember, there's a higher target, but if the call fails, if it's failure, it's a straight line down. And there's a long way down if it fails. I still think it's more likely there's one more leg up, but the wave count we have suggests the next leg up is the last leg up. Doesn't prove it yet, but that's a reasonable hypothesis. Tomorrow has the early high and that's today's call.